video tutorial on how to properly set up your sheets document for graphing assessments. Okay, so step one, go to your Google Drive. So we'll go to our Google Drive right up here. I'll click on that. Next, we want to go to My Drive. So I'm going to click on My Drive. Next, click on the drop down triangle. So I want to pull up a sheets document, drop down triangle, sheets document. So a sheets document is what we need for graphing our assessments. All right. Um, all right, so next thing we're going to do is name our document. So uh, the current name of our document, we want it to be Graphing Assessments. Okay, and then your first initial, my first initial is J. You're going to put your first initial and your last name. My last name is Perkin. Okay, so first initial, last name. Graphing Assessments, first initial, last name. Next. Uh, we are going to uh, click off this. We're going to save this sheets document, okay? So we want to save it into your Earth Science folder. So you can go over here on uh, the folder, click there. All right, wait for that to come up. We're going to drop that right into our Earth Science folder. And, uh, and there we go, okay? So I could go into a subfolder, but this is the folder it's already in. I've saved mine there, okay? All right, so... Next thing we're going to do is name our first sheet. So down here is a tab, okay, right down here, sheet one, we want to rename this. There's two ways you can rename it. You can double click on it and it's highlighted or you can click on the drop down menu and rename. So I'm going to name this chapter five because that's the next set we're going into. So we've named our first sheet chapter five. Um, all right, next thing we're going to do is we'll create uh, an accurate identifying title in the top left corner of this sheet. So go top left, row uh, one, column A, come in here, and we're going to name this uh, chapter five, oops, five, rocks, rocks vocabulary, okay? So click on that. Now notice here that this goes across two cells. I can click on this if I prefer, which I do. Uh, to come down here and go to text wrapping. So format, come down to text wrapping, go to text wrap, and that'll contain that into one cell. Uh, I'm a visual person, so I'm going to add some color to this. Okay, so I'm going to just go with some, some green here. Uh, and then uh, um, I've created uh, an accurate identifying title. Next thing I want to do is create headers. Okay, so we're going to be collecting three pieces of data. So my first header is going to be date. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, column A, row 2, and I'm going to type in date. I'm going to hit tab. Next piece of uh, data we're going to collect is the assessment that we're taking. So the assessment. And then the final piece of data we're going to be collecting is our score in percent. Okay, so uh, we have our, our, our headers here, all right, for our data. So I'm going to come here, and I will also add a little, uh, little color to this. So we have our date, assessment, and score. Uh, those are our headers, okay? Next, we're gonna enter the assessment types. You'll be taking uh, three types of assessments that you know already, um, and the first one will be before you study or introduce to any of the information, it's called a pretest, okay? So I'm gonna put pretest in here. The next one, after you've worked with the, the vocabulary terms and the information a little bit, is the formative. Okay, and then finally at the end of uh, that particular chapter or section or unit, you will have a summative vocabulary test. Okay, so, um, so now uh, we're ready. We're ready to enter our data. Now, <clears throat> um, we're going to enter some hypothetical data here. Uh, so um, we're going to say we took our pretest on th the March 8th of this year and we scored a uh, 25%. Okay, and then on uh, March 10th, we took our formative and we scored uh, 65%. And then on uh, March 14th, we took our summative and we scored 92%. Okay, now uh, if we look at this. Uh, this data, it's presented well, they're all lined up, everything's good. Um, if you want to organize it, personally I like uh, things just a little more organized for my own sake. Um, I come over here and I can click on column A, hold my command button down, click on column B, continue to hold the command button down, 
click on column C, I can go to format, and I can align uh, my text in the center, um, and then I can also align my text in the middle. Okay, so now uh, my information's organized as nicely as I like it. All right, so uh, we're, we're ready to graph at this point. So after you've taken your pretest, your formative, and your summative, you've entered that information. Notice these numbers here are whole numbers, so you'll round uh, from the decimal. If it's a 0.4 or lower, the number will stay the same. If it's a 0.5 or higher, you will round up to the next uh, whole number. Okay, so to graph this, we're going to uh, highlight uh, columns uh, B, 2 through 5, and C, 2 through 5. So we'll highlight a total of eight cells, um, and then we can go over to, uh, there's an actual, uh, over in this corner, uh, over here, we have uh, a graphing for insert chart. So I'm going to click on the insert chart. Okay. And uh, I'm going to choose the line graph. I think that shows the data the best. I'm going to insert that. Okay, I'm going to click on this and then resize it. So I'm going to minimize or make it a little bit smaller, pull it next to the chart over here. Next thing I want to do is uh, change my title. So I'm just going to put in here chapter 5 rocks vocab. Okay, chapter 5 rocks vocab. The next thing I want to do is put actual plots onto my line graph. You can see it's just a line now. I want to add an actual plot for the pretest, for the formative, and for the summative. So we'll come here, click on that. We can click on the size. I usually go with the 7 or 10. Okay, and uh, there we are. You can also click on this line, and you could change the shape if you so choose to into a diamond. Uh, and then you might want to go a little larger there. Okay, so there we are with our data. We have all of our data here. And then we've graphed it, and we can see our performance on the pretest, the formative, and the summative. Now, how do we get ready for chapter six? Okay, so we can come down here, and we can click on our drop down uh, menu, and we can duplicate this. So, duplicate this. Okay, next step is to go and rename it. So, we can rename, and I can just put in here chapter six. Okay, so uh, we don't need this graph anymore because it's from chapter five. We can get rid of our chapter 5 data. Okay, we can go into here and we can change this to chapter 6. Yes. Okay, so uh, and then maybe we want to do a little color change just to make sure uh, everything looks uh, different for minerals than it did for rocks. So there we are. We have set up our graphing assessments sheets document accurately so that you can earn full credit. Thank you.